Hi everyone, welcome to Tip Season. In this video, we'll look at how to install Kabul language in macOS and we'll run our first Hello World program. So let's get started. In Mac, in order to install Carbon, we need to do four things. One is you need to install Homebrew. So Homebrew is like a package manager for Mac. If you are used to Linux, the common usage of packages can be achieved using apt-get, right? So the equivalent of apt-get in Mac is Homebrew. So it's like, you can just think of like a simple installation tool for any external libraries. Okay, so in order to set up Mac, all you need to do is just take this command from here and run it in your terminal. Since I have installed Homebrew already, I'm just skipping this step, but you can just enter your root password and it will install Homebrew in your system. So the installation is pretty straightforward. If you want to have detailed instructions of what Homebrew is, you can actually go to this link too and learn more about it. Okay, so once we have Homebrew installed, the next thing we will do is we will install Bazel, LLVM and Carbon Explorer. Don't worry, it's very easy to learn about them. So the first thing we'll do is we'll install Bazel. So Bazel is like a build tool or the testing tool that is compatible across multiple platforms. So it's an open source tool which can be used to build and test your code. Okay, so many open source projects actually use Bazel for uh, executing their builds. So Carbon Language use this Bazel. So in order to install this Bazel, all you need to do is just take this command here and then run it in your terminal. So here, once you have it, it will download all the required libraries and you should have the Bazel installed, okay? If you see any errors here, uh, when I was originally installing Bazel, I got a permissions issue. So it said like I need to have a root permission for one of the folders. So all I need to do is like run that specific command which is in the output of this Bazel log it has the actual command that we can run it in order to fix the issue. Okay, so now that we installed Bazel, now let's install LLVM. So what is LLVM? In very simple terms, LLVM is a library for creating machine native code programmatically. It's like a collection of modular and reusable compiler and toolchain technologies that you can use to build new languages. So it actually gives an infrastructure on which any new languages can be built very easily. So if you actually observe Carbon language, right? So Carbon language doesn't yet have a compiler yet. It only has an interpreter. So it uses LLVM as the underlying uh, infrastructure to compile and run its code. Okay, so with that background, uh, let's install LLVM. If you are still curious about LLVM, we'll have a in-depth coverage of future videos so make sure you drop a comment below all right so let's install llvm to install that we need to take this brew install llvm and then we will install that all right so now that llvm is installed so once you install llvm right with brew installed you will see some error messages like this so basically what this says is Mac OS by default it comes with a LLVM because of the previous installation of Xcode and all right so a lot of people are actually getting stuck at this point so in order to fix this error the thing that you need to do is you just go to this uh, page I have linked that link below so open your bash profile file you can do that using vi actually let's clear the screen so go to your bash profile and then copy all the exact commands that are in this. So the main thing here is we need to set the path, LD flags, CPP flags and CC. So CC is also very important. I think this is not documented in the original GitHub clearly. Uh, so make sure you add this flag in case you are getting the error. So I've made this as which C lang. So actually this gives the location path of where the C lang is installed. Okay, so it will give C lang and I am setting that variable in CC. So take all this 
commands here and paste it in your bash profile you can either use a vim or you can even edit this with a text editor okay so once you have this save the file and then the important thing is run the source command so what this does is it actually compiles the bash profile file so that the changes are getting reflected immediately okay so with this we are done with the llvm installation we need to run this one too uh, which will actually export the path and set the proper path now once you have the llvm ready next let's go to the actual the exciting part which is running the hello world so in order to run hello world program in carbon language what you need to do is first you need to clone the git repository from carbon so go just take this git clone uh, git carbon so what this does is it actually clones all the carbon command from uh, git so here git clone is done if you see here uh, the carbon language directory is created so go to that carbon language directory if you see these are bunch of files that came from the git repo so basically we just cloned the repository right so just go to the carbon so the important thing is to be in this folder okay wherever you downloaded your carbon lang folder using git uh, clone command make sure you are in that folder okay so once you are in that folder then run this bazel run this command so this is the most exciting part so we will have the explorer so just to give some background so a carbon language has something called explorer so basically it's like a front-end implementation for the entire carbon language so if you have to run any specific uh, examples of carbon language you can run it using explorer so it's similar to like in c++ we use certain tags like gcc or different tags right like for example in java you write java c and all right all that is taken care in carbon language using the explorer command okay so let this compile and then let's wait for the result this might take some time for the first time because it has to download all the libraries after the first run the compilation will be much more faster because it actually caches your data in a cached folder All right, so as you can see that hello world is printed. So finally we've got the hello world working, right? Okay, so now let's actually go and modify that uh, program. So basically if you observe this command, right? What we are doing here is we are doing Bazel run explorer. So we are triggering the Bazel build to do a run for the explorer tool and the main thing we are doing is we are giving the argument as this format uh, only dot carbon path so this is the actual file path that is present inside the carbon lang folder so if you actually go to carbon lang right the directory structure there is a folder called explorer and then there is test data and then there is print right so this has bunch of examples that you can actually go and try it okay so here the if you observe this is like format underscore only dot carbon so the actual file format for carbon language is dot carbon okay so if you go and edit the format only dot carbon you will see that it has the the hello world that is uh, written here so let's go and modify the hello world program so hello world uh, welcome to tip season please subscribe i'm saving it so once you save it if you run this program again the bazel let's copy from here so i'm running the file so Sorry, the, I'm in the I'm I'm actually in the path here already, so I'm actually just removing the path. So Bazel run explorer, and then you will see here uh, hello world, welcome to tip season, please subscribe. So this is the change that we added here, right? So you can see that whatever change we made to the format dot format only dot carbon that is compiled properly and then the output came fine 
right? So if you want to go ahead and try any of your examples in, in this compiler, you can actually uh, go and change your file and specify the path in this format. So basically you have to give Bazel run explorer uh, hyphen hyphen and then you specify the file name in which you wrote your actual code. Okay. So this is all about carbon with Mac. Hope you find this video helpful. In the next video, we will look at more hands-on examples with carbon language. So make sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Until then, have a great day.